Hi everyone and welcome back to Imperial SMP. I don't know if you've noticed, but we have something new here. I have the spore blossom hanging from my tree. Can you see it? Uh, no. Hold on. There we go. And now the little particles look like leaves are falling off the tree. Look at it all, it's so pretty. I'm kind of obsessed. We actually have a mod on the server where drip leaf and alliums can craft spore blossoms. So when I heard Metricate had some drip leaf, I knew I needed it. We made a deal where he gave us a drip leaf and I gave him a signed agreement where he can use our flower farm. I'm so excited, these spore blossoms are gonna look really pretty in our flower forest. And I'm also hoping that we can sell some in our flower shop. Honestly, getting the spore blossom has made me even more inspired to make our area nice and pretty. I added a few more ores to this area. But I've been gathering some more resources and I think it's time to do a little bit more building and decorating in our flower forest. I really want to make this into a magical fairy cool land, so I think we should start off by doing some building. So let's get going. Okay, and update. So we're not done at all, but I think we made a good start here. So the area kind of starts back over here. I have plans for this section, but we'll get to that soon. But at the moment you can walk up here and on the right we have this little like waterfall and pond. And behind it, I know these are kind of weird, but I thought I'd make like some kind of magical amethyst fungus, we're gonna call it. So we've got one of those here, there's one behind the house over here and one of course here. And then next we've got this path that goes and winds all the way around until we get to the nether portal. I was gonna make the portal bigger maybe and like move it a little bit, but I kind of don't know how to do that in an easy way because it has to be on the roof and it has to not link to everyone else's portals. So I thought I'd just build around the portal that we have. Next, I wanna make our first little like house hut building over here. It's gonna be small and cute. And I think we'll mostly use white concrete and pink terracotta. It's going to be like the same color palette as our starter house over here. Although before we do that, I guess we better go to sleep. I'm thinking the doorway could be like here maybe. And I want to make it really small and kind of rounded. The idea is these are like fairy houses. So eventually we'll have a few of them dotted around. So I think these walls will just be two blocks high. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and mess with this shape a little bit. And I'll be back once we get something cute going. Alright, I made the house. It looks like this. It's a very small baby house. I'm not sure what I should put in these. If you have any ideas, let me know. Whoa, <laughs> I wasn't meaning to fly there. Um, so I was thinking I could put villagers in them in future. But for now, I really needed a spot for this seed to bone meal converter thingy. So that's what we have going on at the moment. And while I was building out this area, I also had a couple of visitors. So Metricate came by and you can see this mushroom behind me looks a little bit different. I actually really like it. He had the idea to make some of them a little bit bigger. Oh, look at the morning sunlight coming through here. Oh, shaders are the best. We also had Jim come over for the first time. Oh, hello, Barry. And then I went and checked out his base, which I hadn't seen before, but it's really cool. So who's here other than you? Oh, well, Easy lives over there. Oh, yeah. But other than that, oh, yeah, I live here. You've been busy. I like yeah. the modern style. Very nice. Are you making yeah. a city? Yeah. It looks like, like a city. Los Santos GTA 5 kind of like a strip down this way. Is this your pet? Oh. Yeah, this is my pet. I tried to ride him. He didn't like it. Someone bet me five dollars to kill this turtle. I'm thinking about it. Don't do it. I, I, I might need. To, I've got to. I've got to do it. No. I need my five dollars. No. You know do with $5? Don't do it. You know what I can do with five dollars? No, almost nothing. <laughs> you could probably get like an ice cream, yeah. Yeah. But the, okay, the turtle's gone. I'm gonna kill the squid. I need black ink. What's this tower? This red tower? I think it was a lighthouse. And then it was just a fountain. And oh, yeah. now it's got a flag on it. 
Yeah, I was gonna say it looks like it's nearly a lighthouse, but not quite. <laughs> yeah, it's like a lighthouse kind of can bounce. Interesting. I like it. Ow. Okay, well, I'm gonna head off and keep building my mushrooms. All right, awesome. I'm gonna keep exploring. I've loved seeing everyone's bases so far. It's so cool how many good builders we have on this server. Kind of intimidating, but also inspiring. Now, before we get back to working on our base, I've been grinding a little bit for some diamonds because we're getting really low on rockets and I'd also like another shulker box for building purposes. So we're gonna head on over this way and go to the shops. You'll be able to see how close the Woodland Mansion is to my house. It's like right here somewhere. There we go. Here it is. Oh, I was also meaning to check. This is the Axolotl shop. I'm gonna go in here. Farzi and Jay Wisp's Axolotl shop open 24 seven. We don't have any pets yet and it'd be quite nice to. Oh, I think they're out of axolotls. Oh yeah, they're completely out of stock. Do not enter stuff on, wait, I'm entering. <gasps> axolotls. I'm sorry, I'm leaving, you saw nothing. I might have to take that into my own hands though and get an axolotl myself. I've seen this place before, but I'm not actually sure. I think it's still squidding. Oh, you can go right up, that's fun. Ooh. Oh, it's kind of expensive. Anyway, back on task. This is the rocket shop. And I'll get a couple more stacks. Um, two diamonds for one stack. I'll get two stacks. It should last us a little while. And the last place that I needed to stop off was the shulker box shop. But that's out of it. So I thought I'd check on my flower shop first. We'll see if we made any sales, but we might not have yet. It's still pretty recent. So the flowers box. Oh, we've sold a couple of stacks or like two half stacks. That's exciting though. And then dyes. Oh, wow. That's 11 diamonds. Oh, this shop is going strong. I love it. We'll restock the shop in a minute, but let's see if I can remember where the shulker box shop is. Oh, here we go. Oh, and it's flooded again. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. It's okay. And how much is again? Six diamonds. Okay. Four, five, six. Yay, okay, time to restock our shop a little bit and then we can get back to building. And for our next building task, I want to start planning something pretty big. We're going to plan out our final house and the plan is for it to be a fairy tale castle. I'm so excited for this. It's probably going to be the biggest thing that I've personally made in survival. So we've got this area over here for the castle and our first task will be clearing out all of these trees and flattening the land a little bit. Oh, why do I keep doing that? Anyway, let's get to it. Now our land is somewhat clear, so we're ready to get planning. I've got this giant stack of white concrete powder behind me. And I've got a bit here too, so we can use that to start our planning. I'm not totally sure where to start, but I've made this like area where I think the entrance could go. And we can count back from here to make sure there'll be enough space. I think there will be. Okay, so this is 17 back and uh, that might be enough room. I'm not really sure. Uh, we need to sleep. Hold on. Sleeping. But I think we'll just start with the front. So we'll have this seven wide gate and then maybe some towers coming out of it either side. So if we go three across and then back like this, like that. And then from here, if we went out like one, two, three, four, five, and then another tower like, oh, not like that. That's a bit of a smaller one. And then if this entrance part is the main gate and this is a tower to the right, then I think we'll just mirror that over here on the left. So we want something like this. And we're already out of concrete. Wow, this is going to take a lot of concrete. It's all right. I've got a few stacks for this planning phase. And we've got another stack. Let's see how this is looking so far from up higher. If I can actually use scaffolding. Well, I think the back is too far forward. It definitely needs to go like further this way, but it's a good start. I'm gonna mirror this side over here and then I'll work on the back a little bit and I'll get back to you. And now we have the general shape in. Let's do a little fly and check it out. 
So this is how it's looking. Oh, look at our little village. So pretty. So it's a castle. It has seven towers. And unfortunately for today, we're going to have to leave it at this because I don't have the supplies yet to actually get building this thing. We're pretty much already out of white concrete, so I'm going to have to do some grinding and get some materials. And then by next episode, we might have enough stuff to build it or at least a really good chunk of it. We'll see if we get the whole thing done at once. But I think that's all we have time for today. I really love making progress on this place. If you're enjoying this series, please leave a like or a comment. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!